welcome. In this video I'm going to be taking a look at his favorite light, rechargeable mini flashlight. So this was provided to me by the distributor, but they're not compensating me for this video and they're not reviewing it before I post it. If you find this video helpful and you want to purchase one of these, I'll put a link to it in the description on Amazon. And if you use that link, it helps me out a little bit and doesn't cost you anything extra. So let's get this open. Here we have a manual. It has a USB port for charging, LED spotlight, on off switch, clip. It's made of aluminum. According to the Amazon description, it has an 850 milliamp hour battery. So it has a couple modes. It has high, medium, and low. And then if you long press the switch, it turns on to the brightest setting, which is 111 lumens, according to the Amazon description. And that will stay on for 30 seconds, and then it will go back to the original mode. So there's a red light that will flash when it's charging, and then it will turn blue when it's fully charged. And then we have some warnings on there, like keep it away from children and don't look into the light. So let's pull this out. So here's the flashlight and charging cable, and this charges with USB type C. So here's the charging cable. It looks about a foot long or so. So let's look at the flashlight. So it feels nice and hefty. It feels very sturdy. If we look at the back side here, there's a slot. So you could attach this to something. We also have a clip here. Here's the button. Now the front has this anodized green rings. So it's pretty easy to identify which is the front. It also has this kind of castle style ring around it. Okay, so I'm going to turn this on and you'll see flashing on the camera. So if you're sensitive to that, you might not want to watch the rest of the video, but I don't see that in person. That's just how they do the dimming on these flashlights and the camera picks it up, but the human eye does not. Okay, so I'll turn it on. So this is high mode, this is medium, this is low, this is off. I'll turn it back on. Now I'll hold the button down and this turns it to the maximum mode. So let's look at charging this. I'll peel this back here. We'll plug in the USB type C cable and then you can charge it with a USB charger. So you could use a phone charger, an outlet, car, RV, computer, just any type of USB port that can do charging. And we have 1.0 amps charging rate. So it's charging around one amps. So that can change depending upon the state of charge. So I'm going to charge it up for a bit and then we'll do some testing. Okay, so the flashlight's charged up. So for my first test, I'm going to point this at the wall. I have the camera and the flashlight about four foot from the wall. There is some ambient light coming in here from the side, but, but it's definitely dark enough to test this. So I'll start out on high mode. So this is high. So it's brightest in the middle and then it kind of fades towards the outside, but it's pretty even. There aren't any really distinct rings in it here. You can see there, you can kind of see a little bit of a ring in the edge, but it's pretty even. Let's go to medium. So this is medium mode. Looks very similar to high. Now my camera's probably also adjusting the brightness, so it may be hard to kind of see. And there's the low mode. So the transition from the middle to the edges seems a little more distinct on the camera than it does in person. So now we can also hold this down and it will turn on the super bright mode. Okay, so that's incredibly bright. And you can still see the transition a little bit, but that's very bright. So after 30 seconds, this will turn down. Now there is a little icon on the flashlight that says it can get hot and you can feel it warm up on that mode. So I'll turn it back to high and now I'll move the flashlight towards the wall. So that looked very nice. It was very even. Now there are lights that are more even than this, but for a spotlight, you really want that center to be the bright area and then the periphery will be a little bit dimmer because typically you wouldn't use a flashlight like this to like draw or you know do some kind of artwork or something. You're using it to search for something or look for something. So now I'll cut to a clip outside from 50 foot away. Now I probably won't talk in the clip. It might be windy and cold outside. So I'll click through the modes on this. I may throw some subtitles up too. Okay, so that's what it looks like outside. So that's the favorite light, rechargeable mini flashlight. Growing up, we used to have these lanterns that had a big six volt battery in them. They were just massive and they had these huge lenses and they were a pretty bright flashlight. But the light quality on them was pretty terrible. They were heavy to carry around. You can have all that now in a tiny flashlight. And what brought that to us were the lithium batteries and the LED bulbs. That's a great combination. You have lots of power and very efficient bulbs so you can have that bright light. So I like this compact size. So this could fit inside your pocket or you could clip it to the outside. You could clip this to a shirt. You could clip it to a hat. It does have a little bit of heft to it. It depends on how solid the hat is on your head. So something like this would be good for roadside emergency. I used to be an auto mechanic and I had a flashlight I'd carry. And this is probably about half the length of that one. And this one would be a lot brighter. 
this, so this would have come in real handy, but this was 25 years ago. This technology didn't even exist back then, but I like it has different modes on it. If I was changing a tire, I'd probably just use it on that low mode. If I'm diagnosing a problem, I might turn it on the high mode. And if I need an extra boost of light, I can hold down that button and then it gets really bright. So I'm just in awe of how good flashlights have become that you can have something this size that has that much brightness. So that's all I'm going to cover in this video. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. If you like this video, please click like. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I'd appreciate if you could do that. And thanks for watching. Until next time, goodbye.